What do you do when you're one of the world's biggest pick makers and you bring out a new model? You send it to Heavy Ripping. Welcome to the Plectroverse. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best ultra certain test location in the southwest of England. Now, today is a very special day. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Dunlop hat, and that is because Dunlop have just sent me their brand new Flow Gloss. Now, if this is your first time here at Heavy Repping, feel free to subscribe and click the link in the description. There's news, reviews, interviews, and more, all from the Plectroverse. So if you're in any way interested in the world of picks, please feel free to give us a follow. That would be ace. And one of Dunlop's biggest problems as a company is the fact that they make all sorts of models, but a lot of people still think of them as the Tortex, Nylon and Jazz 3 people. Now that's a really good thing in a sense, because it's great to have such a ubiquitous brand that's recognised the world over by musicians and non-musicians alike. But how do you then break out of that? How do you make something else and something more interesting that keeps you as a company engaged? And the Flow series, the original Flow series, like these, this is a Flow 2 mil jumbo. These started to get a lot of traction because people like Andy James, John Petrucci and all that had signature models uh, based off them. The Prime Tone series had Toes and Abassi and people like that. And this was very interesting for people like me because it marked the step of a mainstream company into the more boutique end of the Bloodverse. So, so before I get into the real nitty gritty of the differences, let's hear them acoustic and see what we think. <laughs> So in terms of physicality, uh, the actual materials are the same. They're both made from Ultem, which is something you'll know from things like the Jazz XL. But the principal difference that Dunlop has affected with these is that the old style flow had the little raised dimples that were so prevalent on the Prime Tone series. And other than that, the pick is flat top and back, a nice easy gradient to the bevels and everything. What they've done with the gloss is it's much more gradual. The whole thing is more domed and more undulating and the grip part, while it still has the raised bumps, has been made concave so there's a nice bit of grip to put your thumb and index finger into. Now that might sound like a very very small thing, you've got to think about these things on a micro scale and think about how much difference that's going to make to the physicality of your experience. Let's have a wee listen and see what it does. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, well, how different can it be to what I'm used to using if you're using a 0.8 or something like that? This is a common thing, and I would suggest if you are in any way interested in what a thicker plectrum can do for your playing, especially if you're playing harder styles, I'm not going to lie, going up to a higher thickness will give you more control because you don't need to put as much physical effort in. If you're trying to knock a nail in, and you use a wee tiny hammer, you can tap, 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 tap for ages, or you can get a big hammer put in less force and whack it straight down. So this amount of effort is this amount of power from the same plectrum. The little divots that are in this, compared to the old school flow series, I think are a big, big step up. Now, it is worth noting that even though 2 mil is not especially thick, they've still managed to do this on the 2 mil model, and I'm very impressed by that because it doesn't give any structural weakness or anything. The pick feels incredibly sure-footed. There's a slightly... Um, <laughs> it made me think of Whitesnake for some reason, but it's got that kind of, like, a sort of feel to it in the tone. It's quite, because it's quite light, bright, but it's really pushy. 
Uh, it doesn't have the sort of more austere quality that you get from the Flow series, and certainly from the Prime Tones, because the Prime Tones are much more blunt on the ends. On balance, having tested all of these, I think the Flow Gloss, especially if you're looking to do high octane stuff, uh, if you're looking to play very aggressively, uh, I think it's a very good, very, very good pick for that. Which I was, I'm going to be honest, as somebody with a big pick collection, I was expecting it to behave the way that it does. There's no surprise there. But the thing that did surprise me was how well it took to doing acoustic work, which is something I never thought it would. If you are interested in getting into heavier plectrums and you don't know where to start, you don't want to chuck £15 or $15 or something and go, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get on with this. Two things I would say to you. Firstly, the only way for you to know if you're going to get on with it is to try it. And secondly, if you want to dip your toe into that water and see how you get on, I can't think of a better place to start, in all honesty. Um, the Jazz Polycarbonate series, which are also very, very good, or the 208s, tend to be made much more for gypsy jazz and jazz in general. And polycarbonate can be kind of plinky uh, if you're not used to that. Altem is a good bridge between those two things because it's got loads of force, but it's brighter, it doesn't click as much. And that was actually something that I was very surprised by, was that these, generally speaking, gloss finish, very, very hard. Uh, I was expecting it to give it the <whistles> Mr. Bluebird sort of situation, but it doesn't. Uh, and at least not to the extent that I was expecting. You will always have to live with chirp, with thicker plectrums. Uh, but very, very surprised by how good that was. So thumbs up. So a big massive thanks to Dunlop for sending these over to me. Genuinely that was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. The pick is very very good. I'm not saying that just because it was sent to me, because I've got to be honest with you guys otherwise there's no point. Uh, I think these chirp as much as I was expecting, but maybe a little less. Uh, I'm very very surprised how good they were on acoustic. I would say of the, the, the two that I was sent, the 3mm is definitely the better plectrum in terms of its force, making the most of that material and the shapes therein. If you want a slightly darker sound or you're looking for that smokier, uh, sort of more muted rhythmic aspect, then the original Flow series is a better plectrum. If, however, you really want to get like, then I would suggest that the Flow Gloss is a perfect place to start. It's not expensive. It'll last for a very, very long time because Altem is very tough. And even if you are absolutely caning it, it should take a wee while to get through these plectrums. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the new Dunlop Flow Gloss. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. The comments are always open or you can hit me up on the socials at the links that have been floating around. I'll be back with more news reviews, interviews and more from the Plectroverse in due course. But in the meantime, my name is John Sean Davidson. This is Heavy Repping and I'll see you soon. So remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy.